Hi, I'm Rob, and I'd like to welcome you to this DevOps on AWS playlist on the Cumulus Cycles channel. According to Wikipedia, DevOps is a methodology in the IT industry which uses a set of practices and tools to integrate and automate the work of software development teams, which is the Dev and DevOps, and IT operations teams, which is the Ops and DevOps. And AWS describes DevOps as a combination of cultural philosophies, practices, and tools that increase an organization's ability to deliver applications and services at high velocity, which in turn evolve and improve products at a faster pace as compared to using traditional software development and infrastructure management processes. When teams implement a DevOps model, they use tooling which helps them operate and evolve applications quickly and reliably. These tools also help engineers independently accomplish tasks, for example, deploying code or provisioning infrastructure that normally would have required help from other teams, which further increases a team's velocity. Now, for those of you that may be familiar with the Agile software development methodology, some of the terms and concepts I mentioned, such as SDLC and a team's velocity, probably sound familiar. And that's because DevOps complements the Agile methodology. And actually, many aspects of DevOps come from the Agile way of working. A couple key Agile concepts that are foundations of DevOps are incremental development and iterative development. Using incremental development, teams are able to build and release products and features faster than in a traditional waterfall development cycle. And they do so in an iterative and repeatable manner. Now, specific to DevOps, this is referred to as the DevOps lifecycle, which is an iterative and repeatable process which defines the stages of the development lifecycle from planning to coding and testing to building and deploying to configuring and monitoring applications and infrastructure. And when it comes to DevOps, we want to be able to perform these actions in a repeatable and consistent way, rapidly and securely. And this is where the DevOps functions of CI CD come into play. So what is CI CD? Well, CI stands for continuous integration, which is the practice of regularly merging code changes into a central repository after automated builds and tests are run. This allows teams to identify code defects early when they're easier and more cost effective to resolve. CD stands for continuous delivery, which is the practice of automatically building, testing, and deploying code changes to a non-production environment, such as testing or staging. Typically, manual approval is required before these changes are pushed to the production environment. Sometimes you'll hear CD referred to as continuous deployment, which is similar to continuous delivery, but with the automated deployment of tested code pushed to production, bypassing the need for manual approval. On AWS, the AWS developer tools and services help you securely store and version your code, as well as build, test, and deploy your applications in an automated manner. These tools support continuous integration and continuous delivery, infrastructure as code, as well as monitoring and logging and communication and collaboration across development teams. In future videos in this playlist, we'll look at some of these AWS tools and services for implementing CI/CD, such as Amazon Code Build and Code Pipeline, CloudFormation for infrastructure as code, Amazon CloudWatch for monitoring and logging, and code commit for version control, as well as several other AWS DevOps tools and services. So if you're interested in learning how to implement DevOps on AWS, I hope to see you in the next video.